Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Patrick Evans. Looking forward to game six. We are looking out at the Classic Club this morning. Uh, and it's a pretty morning, but it's a little breezy. And we're going to continue to see those winds. Wind advisory up across most of the valley. The strongest winds are actually just to our east. We've got red flag warnings surrounding us and some cool spots with frost and freeze advisories and warnings. A uh, little weak front trough moving through. That's the front sliding on past us behind it. Very cool air left in its wake, but also very gusty conditions. And then this area of high pressure is going to build in. It will start to change things up. We'll start to warm up as we head into tomorrow and the latter part of the week. But today, very cool, low 70s. Those winds will start to move more of, of an offshore pattern setting up. So Santa Ana winds, it'll be gusty on the other side of the pass and not as gusty here. Right now, upper 50s and low 60s, but we're only going to warm up another 10 or 12 degrees from your present numbers. It's just not going to be that warm out there today. We've got very cold conditions. Big Bear at 27, 35 in Idlewild. And we just dropped down to 59 in both uh, Palm Desert and Cathedral City. And with the cool air in place today, it's going to be uh, one of the coolest days we've seen in more than six months. Numbers are very low. When you're looking at dew points right now, we're talking about negative digits. And then with the gusty winds, very dry conditions. Fire danger is critically high. Uh, and because as these winds move around with the atmosphere so very dry and gusty winds, Flames can travel very quickly with, uh, with very little uh, to stop them from moving place to place. So be extremely cautious with fire. We are looking at do, wind speeds up around 25 miles per hour. But as I said, we move into tomorrow and those winds will be more of an offshore push. So that'll be a little bit of a change. Today around 72, that's where our numbers max out well below our seasonal average. Partly cloudy and, and certainly windy throughout the day. The wind advisory up for us through the evening hours. And with those offshore winds, that marine layer departs. So then we're going to start to warm up a little bit as we head into the middle and latter part of the week. The Comfort Air 7-day forecast, low 70s today, upper 70s tomorrow. Back into the 80s by Wednesday and closer to our seasonal averages, Thursday and Friday. Then for Halloween, we'll be in the lower 90s. Not terribly hot, just a couple of degrees above average with overnight lows in the 60s. I think Halloween evening, there's no trick-or-treating uh, to any great extent, but if kids want to dress up, should be pretty pleasant and not terribly hot underneath all those Batman outfits or whatever <laughs> the choice may be. Batman is perfect because you have a cape and you can 